But honestly, back then, I didn't really care. I was like, ah, whatever, another hater. Who's here? Now it hurts a little bit more. Interesting. Because it's so weird to be so accepted as a queer person, winning Canada's Drag Race. Everything is so amazing. Everyone accepts you. You're like booked everywhere. And then now, three years after The Crown, now it's harder for, for me to exist in spaces. Like, how does that make sense? Yeah. Do you it's think that's so because backwards. there's like an uptick in hate? Do you think it's yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. more vocal? It's because like all the American stuff, right? And then now it's trickling into Canada. I mean, it has trickled into Canada. Like for like, you know, I was like the sponsorship girl for so many years. My face was all over the city during Pride. And this year it's zero. And I've had so many conversations with so many corporations. And it's just like, yeah, we're like not doing drag this year. And I was like, well, you're not doing drag because like you hate I mean, it's, it's not about drag queens. It's about, it's about trans people yeah. in the root of it. Um, but they don't want to admit it. So it, it, it's hard. It's really hard for a lot of, like, drag queens and queer people and trans people everywhere. It's, it's kind of f***ed up. Yeah, that's a good way to... So anyways, happy Pride, <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Happy, happy Pride. Pride. <laughs>